Welcome to part number seven of the Mega Man Zero Four Hard S Rank Challenge. And you know what time it is? It's time for Craft. Yes, Craft. If you're familiar with this game, you know that Craft is one sneaky boss. He is a tough fight. No doubt about it. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is impossible. No human being can ever beat Kraft without taking a hit. I'm just gonna say that right now. You'll see why. You'll see why. I mean, Kraft is a hard fight. And I'm not gonna even talk about the stage because it's really easy. In fact, every time I did this, I don't know, every single attempt, I got through this stage without taking any damage. It's just Kraft. Kraft gave me issues. But the very first attempt, I got a 98, but I wasn't happy with a 98. The great UAA is not happy with a 98. He wants at least a 99. A 99 makes him happy. So yeah, I, I did it a bunch more times, and I probably should have just took that 98, but I spent a long time trying to get a better score, and I finally did. But uh, let's explain craft. Craft is just fun. He loves to teleport around the um, the area where which you fight him. I don't know what to call it, but one thing is there are no walls in the fight, which really makes it that much harder because you can't dodge his attacks by jumping off the walls. Luckily, the double jump helps with a lot of his attacks. Oh yeah, you have to save all those guys to proceed with the stage. If you didn't see that on screen. And here he is! There is Kraft! Oh, Kraft. I love you. I hate you. <sighs> Let's explain him. Alright, he has so many different kinds of attacks. He'll shoot out this laser, which is easy to dodge. He'll shoot out a blade from his gun. Stay away from him, or jump over him. Both work. One thing about Kraft is that he has three life bars. Great! Give the hardest boss in the game three life bars. Why not? Great idea! Thank you! Just thanks, Capcom. Oh no, I think uh, someone else made this for it. Anyways, uh, he'll throw out grenades. If you're far enough away from them, you'll dodge them every time. Other time, he'll throw out an explosive circle. If you don't uh, destroy it with your Z-Saber, you're gonna get hit. See those grenades right there? No problem. That exploding circle. It is possible to dodge without killing it, but I recommend that you slash it with the Z-Saber. It helps a lot. In his final attack, he'll jump up and shoot his gun at the ground. You can jump over it. It's, uh, it's pretty tough, but you should be able to do it. It's a lot easier with a double jump. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you gotta be quick with this guy. And oh my god, I beat him without taking a hit! I am amazing! Give me a medal! I deserve a medal. I just beat Kraft without taking a hit. Oh, wow. The great UAA gets a 100 on this stage. You don't have to congratulate me. I know. I know. I am the greatest. Not really, but... <laughs> I was so surprised. I was shocked. I'm like, whoa. I, I did it. I did it. And uh, for some reason, I kept this cutscene in, even though I skip all of the text. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. But yeah, I was really surprised that I did it. And um, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I do not beat him without taking damage during the second fight, even though it's pretty much the exact same thing. I just couldn't do it a second time. Although I really didn't try to do it a second time. The first time I got a 99 on that stage, I took it. Yeah, so now we're not going to be fighting the eight main guys just yet. We have one more stage before we get back to them. It's another intermission stage, which I think it's cool. Have two intermission stages instead of one. I think that's pretty cool. But uh, the next one is really easy. In fact, the boss is in the middle of the stage instead of at the end. Which, uh, I'm not really sure why, but doesn't bother me. I'll see you in part number eight, The Prison.